Hello, welcome or welcome back to Life on the French. Uh, today we are doing a hamster cake cleaning, but sort of with a product review element. So many of you may have heard of the brand Nightingale. I don't know if I'm pronouncing that right, but this is the brand name. Closer. Me. Night Angel. Anyhow, so um, I've been seeing them uh, used and reviewed by like Victoria Rochelle and Munchie's Place, and so I wanted to try out some of their products for myself. So, um, as you may or may not know, uh, in my other hamster cages, I have places where you can see um, the hamsters when they're burrowing. So for example, in Rocky's cage, you can see when she goes in here, she buries a little tunnel over here, and then there's an entrance over there as well. So I can see her when she's in the ground sometimes. Um, and Patch has a lab labyrinth uh, on the wall of her cage. So I wanted to do the same Butter, so I thought this would be an opportune time to try out some Night Angel, Night Angel, I don't know, products. So this one is the Syrian sized one, and I went ahead and bought the Syrian sized one, even though we have dwarf, Butter is a dwarf hamster, uh, because often when, like, I didn't know if I should trust uh, the sizes because a lot of times things are, that are like for dwarves are really for like them like mice and things that are might for mice are things that are like for nobody. <laughs> um, so I wanted to make sure that I could actually use the products and I also wanted to make sure that the top had enough like space that if I wanted to put something on top of it I could. Um, and I'm actually like, happily surprised that this would definitely fit a Syrian so that's cool. Um, I've also tested it, test, tested it, mm. tested it uh, in another video uh, where we had them go to the French Riviera. I'll link that above. You will have seen the inside of this already. But Rocky, our dwarf hamster, can use this, so I'm sure Butter can as well. Butter may have even used it in the video. Um, but uh, that's this product. So I'm going to be trying this out and placing it this way against the glass. And then I also went ahead and bought this uh, contraption. So I've been using cardboard. There's no shame in cardboard. I have cardboard up here. I've got cardboard over in Patch's cage. Um, but I had like this size cardboard in Butter's cage and Butter loved it. But it just like started to smell and then I wasn't able to like keep finding cardboard of the same size. So I wanted to get something that was gonna like last longer. Um, and also that I could put things on top of. So right now what I've been using is this, this house that I made. Um, but I kind of want that to be more of like for play, like then for permanent housing. Um, like for scenes, uh, because it's not the best use of space in the cage. Because this, this can be for burrowing, um, as well as like putting like a wheel on top of or hides on top of. So that was my thought process at least. But I haven't unwrapped it yet. Okay, so this is what it looks like. Um, if you flip it over. Uh, it's got three chambers, a large chamber and then two smaller chambers, but I believe this piece is actually removable if you wanted to just have two large chambers, um, which might make more sense if you had like a larger Syrian, this is um, the large size I think, or maybe medium, I'll have to check my orders. But there's an entrance on the, so on the bottom, which I like, um, so it can lead to like more tunnels, and there's also an entrance on the top. Um, so I'm very excited about this product, and I think that Butter is going to love it. Uh, and then the top, 
is removable, like so. Uh, and there's no like nails there's um, in it at all. So that's another like benefit to the product. Um, it's just you know, wood supported. Bam. Uh, so it's easy to clean. Like you can just leave this in there, take the stuff out, put it back in for spot cleaning. Um, huge plus. That's different from like cardboard. And also different than a cardboard box. It doesn't have a bottom, which is also nice. Um, however, okay, these, I wanted to support these products because I really like what this brand is doing for the hamster product community in general by making like appropriate sized cages, wheels, um, and just in general, I just really like this brand and what it's doing for the hamster community. But, you know, as all hamster products are, it's not like it's cheap. So, another idea that I had, um, if, I want, if Butter really likes it and I want to put another cage, I've got this box, or maybe like a shoe box, and um, you know how shoe boxes have like lids? This box, you know, comes up off like this, but like so. You could put this side up against the wall of the cage and then add like with the extra cardboard, a divider, cut a hole in the center, and then hole here, hole here, and guess what you have? The same. Obviously like this is gonna last longer than your cardboard version is, but it provides the same effect, and I feel like your hamster is not gonna care if you got the name brand or not. You know what I mean? Like, so I feel like that's an also a good alternative to this product. Um, but anyhow, uh, without any further ado, uh, let's start cleaning. Butcher's cage. I guess she could put her in. Hi. Hi, baby. Oh, we took you from my sleep. I'm not going back into this. The butter will be fine.
Okay, so I've placed in the two nitrogen gels. I put this one like flat to the bottom, but put bedding in it. Um, this one is raised a little, um, so you can bury underneath it more. Um, this for some different height dimension. I'm testing out what she'll like better. Um, I have bridges so that you can get to the top of both of them. Um, and I've kept in like all of her other like hides, except for this house. Uh, everything else I kept in. And now she has two sand baths um, because she did use this one in the one of the videos that we did recently. So I'm trying to get her to go back to like a, a larger sand bath, but I kept in the fritter bath as well, just so she has a sand bath that I know she uses. Um, but let's get butter and see how she likes these new products. Ready? I'm gonna go home. Oh, yeah, it's film done. Okay. Okay, where to put you? I'm gonna put you here so you know where the water is. Ooh, that's exciting. She's in the back. Sorry. I think she likes it. She really liked her cardboard box that we had. So I think she's very excited about this this one. This is a cleaner setup. Mm -hmm. She's come back out. There she is. Oh yeah, see? There's a top hole too.
there it is. Butter. So I think we can conclude that Butter is a fan of the Nightingale uh, Hines and Holmes boxes. So I will link uh, those uh, these that I bought in the description down below. Um, and if you like this video as much as Butter likes uh, their new setup, give this video a thumbs up and click subscribe to see more of our hamster and other content. And have a most amazing day. Bye!